What's up guys, it's Ken Jr. It's, uh, what is it, Tuesday afternoon and Ken's riding up on Jimmy's Can-Am quad. It's glare ice outside. I can hardly walk up the drive, actually, I'm sliding back down. Seniors having a little too much fun.
Who knew the owner of the motorcycle museum would be drifting a, a quad around in the middle of winter? Inside the service department, or do you want to do it out here? Uh, inside the service department. I talked to the floor It's all dirty now. Want to bring it to the showroom? This thing is massive. <laughs> Not really a quad guy, but but uh, I, I didn't realize that they made him with this much travel and a performance package with a 650 single. This thing's nasty. I must concur. That's the first thing I, I, I saw when I saw this thing. I was like, wow, this is a dune monster. Can't wait to take it out in the snow. Um, this is another awesomely tuned piece of uh, mechanical machinery here. Uh, this is from our our lead technician, Jimmy Laurinaitis. This is his personal quad. Uh, Jimmy's selling this for medical reasons. Um, he's gone right through the quad. It's got a full stage one kit on it, like it needed more power. This is, the, I, I read up on it, this is the bike, this won the shootout, the most horsepower of the 650 class in 2005. It's gotta have damn near close to 60 rear wheel horsepower. It hauls the mail. It's got a, a full stage one kit. It's an HMR header oversized header and exhaust pipe kind of um it kind of looks pretty cool it goes up in the back almost like a dune buggy uh i got it a little muddy on that little ride right there so i'm gonna bring it down a detail shop have the boys rinse it off uh, give it a final detail unfortunately it was spotless i mean spotless where i took over that ride but hey i got a little carried away and that's what it's all about you know i gotta have a little fun at work here so uh jimmy upgraded the tires to the maxis razor twos front and rear the tires are 90 plus percent tread looked like it was hooking up decent um i i, I couldn't even walk up the the hill and you were blitzing these, these tires are absolutely ridiculous on the snow and ice it, I, it's like i got better traction on the dirt it was almost like they were studded i couldn't believe it uh, he's upgraded the exhaust the tires full stage one that includes the k and n air filter and jetting kit on the carburetor tuned to the performance exhaust so the intake and exhaust has been opened up this is a liquid cooled 60, 650 cc uh, four stroke, five speed beast. Beast from the east. God bless Canada for making kick ass machines like this. This originally came from Ridge Power Sports. Again, it's a 2005 Bombardier DS650. So it is a sport ATV. Um, it had the most, most horsepower, the highest top speed, and the plush suspension of any bike from its era. It's also the big, biggest, and like Kenny said, it's the biggest and the heaviest by a lot. It's, it's substantially, like, it, let's say, if you call a Raptor 660 a large, this is a double extra large. This is a beast. It's a big machine. I'm six foot two, and it fit me perfectly. So um, it is, uh, you know, not a match for the quickest, fleetest, and lightest of them, but in its element, like today, out there in the slippery snow, it's awesome. It has its good points, that's for sure. And that is the biggest motor. <laughs> It's the 653cc Rotax engine. Has a broad linear power band, as I just, as I ju as I just demonstrated, and it dispenses the power via the five-speed manual gearbox with no reverse to keep it lighter. 
Um, it has a claim dry weight of 490 pounds. Part of being massive is it weighs more. Uh, for a big dude like me, two, 220 with no clothes on, I'm probably 240 with a snowmobile suit and boots. It's gonna haul my big butt around like nothing. And it's suspended by long travel shocks. It gives an exceptionally plush ride. Uh, Jimmy's just gone through the bike, changed the oil, filter, um, maintenance, went through the whole thing, all the fluids, everything that's loose. What is Jimmy for this thing? I'm, I, I might put it in, you know, in I, an offer. <laughs> you know, I was, I was riding it around, I was, thinking, I was thinking, what am I doing? Why would I sell this? Because I know, I know his reserve on it is ridiculously low, and um, it's just a hoot to ride in it. It's got very low hours on it. The bike's all original. All the plastics are original on it. You can tell it hasn't been dragged through the bushes or anything like that, or beat on like, like my quad was. So. Yeah. Imagine towing people around on sleds behind this thing, like you're just whipping around the like, compound. Like we used to do at the compound, it would be an absolute hoot. Maybe we should buy it and do that. I think it's impossible not to have fun with one of these. The, the DS stands for Dune Sport, so um, it's a big winner in the loose sandy stuff or in the snow. And uh, it's been nicknamed The Bomb because it's badass, The Bomb. So if you want to take it to Dumont Dunes, if you want to take it to uh, New Hampshire in the snow, it's perfectly ready to go blasting through big snow drifts and piles of leaves like I just did. So um, the power is abundant, but it's also easy to use. As, you, as I demonstrated, you can torque along in third gear, no problem, or you can rev it to the moon, either way. Um, and it's also, if you, if you have trouble controlling your right thumb, you might not want to get on this one because it's got tons of power. Um, if you do, if you are good at controlling your thumb, you'll be able to harness the most powerful 650cc single cylinder in any quad from its era. So uh, the handling's responsive and stable, as I just demonstrated. Due to the heft of the machine, it, it's, it's got a lot of weight and it's big, so it, uh, it'll just keep going in whatever direction you have it pointed. It'll run over just about anything. So I guess to summarize, plush, long travel suspension, a wide, solid handlebar, which is awesome, uh, controllable power and plentiful power. The Rotex power plant, you know, to me, is, is absolutely off the hook. I've ridden a lot of 454 strokes, this thing is insane. I have a D, I have a KLR 650 and a Honda 650. If they put this in a, if they put this in a KLX chassis or an XR 650 chassis, you'd really have something because it's definitely a better motor than those. The jug, the jug is massive. Look, look at it compared compared to the the XL or, or the uh, the KLR. Look at this. So yeah, and I'll, I'll give it rave reviews for the motor. I don't even think I ever got it at fourth gear. Matter of fact, I know I didn't. Um, and the double pipe, the double header pipe, uh, is oversized performance header, uh, rakishly upswept muffler. Uh, like I said, it looks like a Baja bug, so the way it points out the back there. So very cool, 653 cc's, liquid cooled, has a Makuni BSR 42 millimeter, dry sump lubrication, five-speed manual clutch, um, just a kick-ass machine. If you're looking for something that you that you can buy affordably, that is gonna look like you spent 10 grand on a quad, then buy this quad. If you want something that's gonna hold its value and is durable, this thing's already been fully depreciated, I'd recommend buying this quad. Some of the safety features Jimmy put on it, these are by Jardine, these are top of the line Jardine uh, Nerf bars with the foot net so you don't get your foot dragged underneath the quad. Um, that's a must have if you're gonna do some serious sport riding or take it in the woods. So uh, the fenders are real nice down here. They're usually all cracked and broken. Uh, you can see this thing's never been rolled which is a common thing that happened with ATVs when you start goon riding like I was. Um, the rims, if you look at the bead on the rims, they're nice and straight, they're not all banged up, and the tires look brand new. So that's about it, folks. So I'm gonna bring it down to the detail shop for one last quick bath, and then it's going in the museum. Look at the size of these shocks. Oh, I almost forgot to forget to tell you, Jimmy upgraded it and put a worn RT RT15 winch, winch, I think it's good for 1,500 pounds, that you could basically drag this thing up a cliff or, or up, up the side of a mountain, and it's got the big push bar on the front. That's no che cheesy aftermarket one. That's a worn, that's top of the line. I don't know what it costs. Look it up online. They ain't cheap, I'll tell you that much. Um, Kick-ass machine, long travel suspension. So you could hook that to a tree and drag yourself up a ridiculous you, you, hill. You, you, could, you, could, you could bring it up to the fourth floor of the building there just by, by winching it up. It'll, it'll lift the whole quad off the ground. So um, great for rescuing your friends that are stuck or dragging yourself off if you get stuck. You can see the pegs are in mint shape. They've never been banged or bent, nor is any of the plastic broken, so the front fenders are nice. We're gonna give it a bath. She'll look like new when she shows up. Um, fully depreciated, going up in value. Now, the brakes are great, chains and sprockets are great. Good luck finding a nicer quad in this price range. You also upgraded it with this vapor uh, indicator right here. It's a digital clock uh, speedometer. Um, I don't know what else it'll do. Uh, you need someone smarter than me to figure it out, but 
It, you can Google it and look it up um, or call the shop and Jimmy will tell you. So if you have any, qu any questions on the bike, call us. We can ship it anywhere in the country. Oh, I almost forgot. He upgraded the bars too, Renthal bars uh, with the Scott red grips and, and the hand protectors on here, the, the power mad hand protectors. So the bars, the cross pad, the grips, the power mad, that's probably a couple hundred bucks. You've got a, a substantial investment in the winch in the uh, Jardine Nerf bars and the full custom HMR dual exhaust in the stage one kit. So there's probably a couple thousand dollars of upgrades and extras and services done to this bike. And it's gonna be fully serviced by Jimmy, ready to rumble. Um, Kaplan America approved, I'd buy this. Matter of fact, Junior and I might be bidding on it ourselves. So Jimmy's selling this due to medical reasons. He's uh, out of work on disability right now. He's volunteers here at the museum a couple days a week uh, to keep himself busy and uh, the money's going to a great cause to, support, to help support Jimmy in this, this tough time when he's got some issues. So um, good luck bidding on this. Merry Christmas. God bless America and God bless Canada for making kick-ass, power-hungry beasts like this thing. This is a man's quad. We're a big girl's quad. I know some women that could send on this too. So stay tuned. More good things to come. God bless America.